What up YouTube, what up boxing fans, interesting news, headline at boxing scene, Richard Schaefer offers 3 million to top rank for Donaire versus Mares. Um, you know, this is basically a super fight, and according to Richard Schaefer, Bob Arum has been giving them low ball offers for Abner Mares. Uh, this is what Richard Schaefer had to say, basically I've been reading comments about Arum wanting to do the fight with Donaire and Mares. It's the same bullshit we went through with Pacquiao and Mayweather. He has no intention to do it. There have been conversations going on with him and Abner Mars' manager, Frank Espinoza. And Aram has been lowballing us for a potential fight. Notice how he doesn't say the offer, but he just says they're lowballing us to provide the services of Abner Mars. This is one of the most anticipated fights in the sport with two great young champions fighting each other. And we're not going to be disrespected by Bob Arum's lowballing us, right? So uh, he goes on and says, contrary, I think both fighters, Abner Mars and Denaire, deserve to make the most money in this fight, and I'm willing to put up an offer to Bob Arum for the services of Nonino Denaire. This offer that he's putting up is three million dollars. So depending on how much of a percentage Bob Aaron pays out to Nino De, Nino Denaire, um, he splits up that three million the way he wants to, and you know Denaire gets a career high payday, and off of that payday he fights Nino Denaire on a Golden Boy card. Now, whether that Golden Boy card will be on HBO or Showtime, I think is the breaking point in this fight. Uh, you know, Aram has said repeatedly. Now, Neil Donaire has a contract with HBO. He cannot fight on Showtime. That's why he wants to be the one to make the offer to Abner Mares. Now, on the flip side, Abner Mares, his last five fights have all been on Showtime. Imagine Steven Espinoza, you know, the head of Showtime, former Golden Boy uh, employee executive, basically is in a situation where he's got to protect his fighter too and he wants Abner Mares on Showtime no matter what right so here's the problem this is, this is a network problem too you know networks aren't teaming up to do co-promotions anymore so uh, the situation is you know can Abner Mares fight on HBO I doubt it can Donaire fight on Showtime? I doubt it. So, I think we're playing a waiting game on contracts. And once the contracts expire, we can make this fight. But overall, the only other way I can see, um, I can see sort of Bob Aaron responding is with pretty much exactly what I said. Um, if he really wants to make the fight, he can do a counteroffer where he offers Schaefer 3 million for Morris. Or maybe 2.8, whatever, 2. Point something for Mars. Then he can bring him over to HBO. Uh, that's really the only way I see uh, Denaire versus Mars, because Denaire can't go to Showtime, and I'm not sure if Mars can go to HBO. So uh, I think that's going to be the breaking point on the negotiations for this fight. Uh, Schaefer went on to say, I obviously value this fight a little different than Bob Arum does. Maybe Bob Arum doesn't have the kind of revenue sources that we have available to him to maximize the revenue for his fighters. Uh, that's why we are the leading promoter in boxing. And that's why we are offering them $3 million to provide Denaire. So, you know, here we go. That's sort of a personal type snide-ass remark and, you know, it, it always goes back and forth between these two guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think. It is what it is, guys. I think we're going to be waiting a long time to see these two guys fight, which is good news because we get to see Denaire versus Brigandown. Peace out. Take care.